I will break them up into individual groups for their projects because they're always going to be working with different people because that's the real world. You know, I have to learn to work with people whether I like them or not. And so you're going to learn that skill now. They do a group contract before they start it where they write their weaknesses and their strengths and then there's rules in there how they can fire somebody from a group. You know, and so if that person's not doing what they're supposed to, there's, there's steps before the firing happens. But if it gets to that, then um, the student, you know, will be released and have to work on an independent project on their own. But they can't get to the end of the project and say, Sam didn't do what he was supposed to do. And I'm going to say, well, there, I can't do anything about it now because you didn't do what you needed to do as a group ahead of time. So there's nothing I can do about it. And then after the project, they do a reflection where they tell what their partners did and what they did. So they have the opportunity to give group members more points or take points away from group members. Then we talk about it as a small group. So we have that real adult talk like you would in the workplace on why you didn't do your part. And then they sign off when they, if they lose points. But we come to a conclusion at the end. You know, I show them the grade I have for them. They have a chance as a group to say, you know, well, we did do this. So, you know, I said, well, show me because, you know, all I do is grade off this rubric. If I miss something, let me know. And we check it. And so when, when they leave, the conversation with me, everybody understands the group, everybody knows why, everybody's okay with it. Even if they blew something and it's a uh, 30 out of 100, you know, they, they understand why, you know. But again, that 30 out of 100 isn't going to kill the grade. They know that because there's room in my class to fail and still be successful. It's definitely a growth mindset thing. I want them to grow and I want them to know it's okay to take risk. And I watch them grow from project one where they didn't do what they were supposed to do to Project 4, where they're collaborating, working together. And I also see the growth and how they critique each other and how they learn to take the critiques and how they learn to own it.